So hi and welcome to the onward and upward journey with the Fire Fire Circle. The onward and upward is a philosophy carved from a passion of understanding businesses, markets, people, products and tools and it's a way of building perception through insights, ideas, stories and thoughts from different experts in the areas of sales, marketing, product engineering and growth hacking. A first in the series of Onward and Upward powered by the Fire Fire Circle, we are joining hands with the pioneers and the evangelists of the Growth Hacking Book 2 bringing out a series of thought leadership based discussions with each of the authors and you know getting the essence of the chapters contributed by them a guest for today is a co-founder of Mental Lab India and a digital marketing consultant he helps b2b businesses and b2c businesses to even with his go to market strategies driving traffic generating leads improving conversations and eventually increasing revenue using sales funnels Please join me in welcoming Tanmay Nijhavan. Hi, Tanmay, and welcome to the Fire Fire Circle. Hi, Kushal. Thanks for having me. Really pumped to be on your platform. Thanks for this. <laughs> Fantastic. So, um, really, really keen to understand what Mental Lab India is all about. Uh, you, you actually are a co-founder and also a digital marketing consultant. So, can you please take us through, you know, your journey as an entrepreneur and how your experience has been so far? For sure, I actually started my entrepreneurial journey four or five years back. Yeah. Started with these two or three really cool ideas, and I thought, you know, I could just change the world. I just went out there yeah. and made zero sales the first two times. <laughs> Usually the case, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> usually the case. Yeah, not in my head, but in reality, that's the case. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I started doing that. Uh, I went out there, and I was just in college. I uh, started learning about these new. Th- things how entrepreneurship is done actually mm-hmm. how do we do project management how do we actually create a product i started taking a lot of online courses i started learning all these things and once i started doing my business started getting a few sales i just realized that this is actually not my passion and then i did i did something on digital marketing i thought you know this is something that i like i started doing it but then i did an internship and then figured out you know this is not exactly what i want to do you know i just need a bit of entrepreneurship in it mm-hmm. so 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 the reason being all the digital marketing agencies a lot of them are you know on facebook ads google ads they're very technical right so, mm-hmm, yeah. so i'm not, i don't want to be along those lines i just wanted to be more entrepreneurial mm-hmm. so kept doing this got my first corporate job and from there i was just uh, doing a lot of Uh, online courses and i got you know there are just these different biz op opportunities uh biz opportunities on the internet so i just took one of them wasn't very successful but then i started figuring out exactly what this thing was mm-hmm. sales funnel psychology digital marketing and then i uh, then someone just introduced this term to me which is digital entrepreneurship mm-hmm. how do you grow your company step by step or using digital platforms right because digital nowadays is going to be the future and someone just put that in my head and i just wanted to move away from the corporate culture yeah uh, this corporate is not something you know it's actually very brilliant but it's something that i didn't feel like you know i just didn't want to do it and this this term uh, was used by a lot of entrepreneurs a lot of mega entrepreneurs which is solopreneurship which yeah. is going to be the next big thing people with uh seven or eight people inside in the in their team and they're just creating unique products day in and out and they're just creating big companies and i thought you know this this is actually something that could be the next big thing because not all entrepreneurs want to build you know billion dollar companies there are a lot of entrepreneurs who want to do multiple things want to take care of the family want to spend uh time with their friends do all of that but also you know well on this journey on on entrepreneurship and i felt that you know solopreneurship is the way mm-hmm. and i just went into it and that's when uh my first project was actually i did an internship uh in delhi from there uh, mm-hmm. I, i started learning about this and then i actually co-founded a uh, mental lab india with uh, if you've uh, heard of kevin harrington he's uh, the original shark from shark tank yeah so they want to do some business in india i, I was very interested mm-hmm. uh, in it and from there i actually became the fourth member to be the co-founder of it wow so that's why fantastic so uh, a few thoughts around what mental lab really is all about and you know um, 
what do you exactly provide in terms of the services? If you could just maybe highlight that, that would be great. Sure. So uh, in terms of services, we are purely into coaching, mm-hmm. coaching and consulting, more on uh, solopreneurship and digital entrepreneurship, right? So we are not, uh, we don't teach core digital marketing, which is Facebook and Google ads, but we teach strategies around mm-hmm. how to build a business digitally and how mm-hmm. to get clients digitally. Because all these metrics, cost per acquisition, sales, high ticket, all of that is going to be very important. How do you mm-hmm. portray your project online? Uh, sorry, product online, all of that. So, so we currently focus on that. And we coach a lot of students on uh, all these aspects. So it is just uh, targeted towards students or even maybe, you know, budding entrepreneurs who want to actually go into the journey of building their businesses, you know, on digital platforms. Is it meant for them as well? Yeah, so there are different levels to it. When we started, it was more for entrepreneurs, but when but then we realized that you know there are a lot of entrepreneurs with skill sets, mm-hmm. but they don't have those entrepreneurial abilities. Like mm-hmm. they might have ten thousand followers, but mm-hmm. they don't really have a client. You know? Yeah. So that's when we came into picture. We we have different levels. So we one of our products is more on the, the student segment, mm-hmm. which is very introductory. And we run on mentorship projects on the back end. That's what we are currently focusing on. Fantastic. So you did say about the entrepreneurial ability, right? And my next question to you would be about maybe some three takeaways from your line of work, you being an entrepreneur, uh, maybe, you know, some takeaways of, you know, doing the hard line of work as an entrepreneur. Uh, the three takeaways. Sleepless one, nights, of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sleepless nights. Yeah. And one thing is that it's never going to be easy. It's going to be ever changing every single day. You just have to re-strategize and adapt. Yeah. Number three, it could be over in a fortnight. You just need to go back in and do it again and again. And again. <laughs> so you just have to be at it. So tough job, is it? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from a skill set standpoint, I mean, you actually mentor uh, stu- the student community primarily. So what are the kind of skill sets that you really emphasize on, you know, when you actually talk to students and, you know, guide them and, you know, give them the mentorship program? What direction do you give them from a skill set perspective? So if I were to maybe pick up five skill sets, what would that be? Oh. Uh- that would be, I think one would be project management, mm-hmm. time management, uh, uh, digital, uh, I would say sales, mm-hmm. right? Lead gen yep. and actually building those sales funnels and understanding customer behavior is, uh, is, is kind of the five things that we focus on. But when we start with students, uh, someone said, had this really great line, which is, you know, a mentor never teaches a student, you know, what to do. They mm-hmm. teach them how to think. How do wow. you think about a business? Wow. So when, when I started doing something, I was always, I always thought that, you know, these were just in my early years mm-hmm. and I'm sure this might happen to a lot of students. So everyone thought that, you know, we just need seed funding. We just need yeah. venture capital. We need money to start. Right. Now it's more about how do we pre-sell our products? How do we understand what the customer wants? How do we create an offer for that particular customer? How do we, you know, get our first 15, 20 clients and, you know, have, have, that initial round of funding from your own clients, which is kind of bootstrapping it. Yeah. And then how do you continue and build on that one step to the other? So, so that's kind of something that we want to focus on. So how passionately driven are you with what you're doing? I know, you know, uh, there are a lot of hard yards that you actually put into what you do, but how driven are you and you know, what your vision really ultimately is? I'm really driven towards this. Uh, I mean, when I, when I started this, there's just so many problems that I had to encounter. And nowadays there are a lot of people teaching a lot of things Mm -hmm. and it's kind of really, really difficult to, you know, find your space in there. And uh, like, like some people say that, you know, people just become coaches too early. Yeah. That's, that's one of the things that's happening. And it's just a market, which is really early. Mm-hmm. And that's the reason why we are just seeing all this clutter and uh, people who are really good, but also people who are average and teaching, uh, you know, people what they don't, what they shouldn't be teaching right? mm-hmm. uh, or what they haven't implemented. So this is where 
the market is right now and after this you know the real gurus or real uh, mentors are going to stand out after a couple of years that's where i see this industry growing so i'm really driven towards this uh, we feel like we can make it uh, uh, but yeah let's see how it goes i'm, I'm sure i'm sure you're going to you know come out with flying colors there so the next segment primarily very important we, we talk about your chapter in the growth hacking book too you are a co-author with with the book uh so just want to understand what the essence of the chapter is all about what are the key takeaways and how would it actually sort of benefit uh an end user like me so why would i need to go pick up that book and read your chapter my chapter is all about dream 100 so the concept of dream 100 is more about you know how do you get those maybe those 100 clients mm-hmm. that would completely change your life or how do you get those 100 relationships maybe those partnerships those people that you know just one of those relationships can actually change your entire business mm. so so that's what it's about dream 100 and how do you network with the executives or with coaches and basically people at the highest level in your industry and them just taking your name giving your testimony or even partnering with you would change your business completely so that's what it's about and it's very strategically laid out like this is something that i've done with uh, almost seven or eight people in the last one year mm-hmm. right and i've been successful almost every single time and uh, the reason why that is the case is because uh, you might you know you know that a lot of people are approaching the top guys in the industry right they, yeah. they are getting pms every single day but there's a strategic way to actually approach them right like circle of influence yeah so so, uh, so i was just approaching so when i start when i was actually about to pitch for mental lab or uh, i'm actually going to have my first meeting with those founders uh i the first thing that i did was i didn't go and approach them directly i first saw for you know a few weeks what they're actually doing and where they're actually trying to go mm-hmm. figuring out you know what their pain points are what would they need help with and the one thing that i did really well was i built a really strong relationship with one of those founders mm-hmm. so from there i used to get all the information right and i used to help them a lot so if you're struggling with this we can do this if you're struggling with this then you can do this and giving them all the insights about the indian market right something that they would want and this is something that people miss out on so from there i started doing this and when i was in the meeting with them number one i knew exactly what to tell them because i was already taking that information from them and they were happy to give it to me because there was already that level of trust number of two this not not only did i know the information but i also had that trust you know because i was already interacting with them for a couple of months so doing that running a circle of influence around them uh, so a lot of people i haven't closed the first time when i got in the meeting with them but what i did was uh because i knew some people around them i started helping them mm-hmm. right uh, like if you're going to a corporate and you know you know two or three des- there are two or three decision makers and you can influence one or two if you're not able to influence the boss then you try to do that you know and they'll change those uh, make those decisions for you mm-hmm. right so doing that for solopreneurship or anything else it's kind of a little bit different which is you know they have friends Uh, in their network you just try and help them out as well mm-hmm. for free i've done that a lot i've helped their friends out for free mm-hmm. and they in turn uh, then they in turn have recommended me to him mm-hmm. not just that when i did those meetings with those influencers then and i told them that you know these are the clients that i work with and then there's suddenly that again that next level of trust that you know yeah. he has everyone now so i need to get, get his services so basically you're actually building your sphere of influence right in a way so that's that's what it is all about very interesting really looking forward to your chapter yep and uh, like most of us we really want to go out there and you know pick this book up and uh, you know get on to your chapter fantastic now from your future aspirations and goals perspective you know what kind of projects are sort of lined up uh, in the in the near horizon or maybe uh, maybe in the far future so in the near horizon what we have lined up is uh... i personally uh, like coaching mm-hmm. and going that going into that route but i don't just want to do that so 
So we have started with some uh, software launches. We did one a couple months back and it's really successful. Now we are, uh, we did a pre-launch there. So now we are actually building the software and figuring out, you know, how to uh, mm -hmm. increase those sales. Uh, I'm also going more towards some personal brands and move, moving more towards corporate coaching. So mm -hmm. the basic ideology behind everything that I'm doing right now is, you know, leverage, right? Yeah. I just have 24 hours. I want to do all these things. How do yeah. I leverage information? How do I leverage my mm -hmm. time and make the best, you know, the highest leverage moves basically. So that's what I'm focusing on. Fantastic. So uh, one success mantra that you would want to sort of, you know, leave for the audiences to, you know, sort of inspire them in any way. Uh, success mantra that I've learned very, uh, you know, through hard times. Yeah. is just have the courage to go out there and do it again. You know, I've been rejected so, so, so many times now. And even the people I've worked with, uh, I have a lot of them, I've been rejected by them multiple times. Mm -hmm. But I still went out there and figured out a way to, you know, work with them maybe three months later, six months later, or a year later, because, uh, you know, Maybe some one of the other, one of the two parties is not ready, right? And most yeah. of the times it's us. Right? Yeah, just need to keep at it. Yeah, keep at it. Keep persevering. Fantastic. Uh, one final one before we sort of sign out. Uh, maybe uh, a shout out to the audience to go out there and you know grab a copy of the book. Right. Just everything that I talked about right now uh, is is just one percent of my chapter, but. I'm a nobody, right? There are so many entrepreneurs in there with such brilliant chapters. I've interacted personally with a lot of them and they are just so brilliant, so intelligent. I keep learning from them every single day. So just go out there and buy this thing, read through it, and then apply this every single day. You know, just take that one idea, that one concept, and I can guarantee you that will change your life. So just go out there and do it. No, I'm sure it will. Thank you so much, Tanmay, for being a part of the Firefly Circle and sharing some great insights and best practices, which I'm sure will help many to go onward and upward. Thank you once again. Thank you, Kushabra, for having me. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you.